Hello, my name is Anastasia and today I will be showing you my uh, update on my non-buy year. Um, what I bought, what I used up, this kind of stuff. Uh, it is the second month, so it was quite difficult. I'm not yet very um, used to not buying makeup and uh, perfume, etc. So I have had some difficulties i will talk about it to you in this video first of all let's talk about the makeup and other products that i used up uh, this is a, um, conditioner from antique and that uh, i used when i had longer hair it did nothing, unfortunately. Would not purchase that again. This is a serum from Astra that had only 15 ml of product, so I used it up in two months and it costed like 8 euros, so quite expensive for 15 ml of product, at least for myself. Now let's talk about declutters. I'm decluttering these two. eyeshadow sticks because uh, they don't work very well they crease right now these are from the Conti that were presents I did not spend money on them but this is it this uh, brow pencil from um, the brow was under the couch for three years and I found it there but when I retried to use it, unfortunately I have to declutter it because it doesn't um, deposit any product on my eyes, on my brows, so I even tried to sharpen it, but it didn't work. Now let's talk about the pencils. I have quite a few pencils here. First of all, two lip pencils from Essence. Both of them were nude very pretty shades but um, I would not purchase any lip pencils anymore I don't like them they dry out in my collection and that's it I also have three eye pencils here two of them from uh, Kiko Marsala and uh, brown one I used as um, liner and the lighter shades uh, the lighter parts of them I used as um, uh, basis for my uh, eyeshadow. I also used up this um, deep black smoky from Astra. It's very uh, good pencil but I would not uh, purchase it again because I want to know why and right now I'm using a long lasting stick eyeshadow from Kiko instead of a liner um, let's talk about the face I used up this face uh, mist from Astra it was also 50 ml of product and it was quite um, expensive in my opinion because it also stings my face because it has acrylatis in it um, this uh, essence gloss I finished up uh, completely I could scrape a little more from it but I don't want to because it became a little bit um, goopy and applying a little bit not so um, it applies some clumps on my on my lips, so I don't like that. Um, then I finished this um, lip balm from Wonder Company. That was very uh, oily. When you apply it, it became oil immediately. So 
so it was very very easy to use it up and this um clinica lipstick uh blushing nude soft shy number 20 roof i used up completely even digging it out as you see i love this shade and i had to buy a substitute for this shade i will uh, insert here the number of products and uh, the total cost of them i had to find some dupe for that shade so i decided to go to my store next door and buy this lipstick from cosme milano 201 danger nude it's a very good lipstick for someone who has a lighter eyes because it makes them pop I also bought this uh, Lush Perfume Karma. This should smell like um, like uh, orange to me, but it smells like uh, eucalyptus uh, honey to me. I don't know why. reapplied quite a lot because it's not very durable on my skin and um, it um, it doesn't contain alcohol the alcoholy ones of their company do last on your skin but these are more delicate the classic formula then I bought this hyaluronic um, I kind of bought it it was a gift from a purchase I purchased some medicines in the drugstore and they gave me this balm this from the same wonder company Hyaluronic and I will use it up too I also bought this serum with vitamin C from Venus unfortunately they test on animals because they sell in China so I'll have to use it up and not buy it again uh, Defense Sun uh, Bionique uh, SPF 50 Plus uh, I did not try it yet but for the next uh, months I think this is a good purchase I will use it instead of my day cream I think Then also my uh, BB cream from Garnier is kind of finishing so I decided to buy this uh, Astro one in the shade too, they did not have tester, so I had to kind of guess because the first shade was too light, the third shade was too dark, and the shade in the middle is my. So I bought the second one. Um, I also bought these two creams from uh, Garnier that are cruelty free. This one con contains a lot of alcohol, I think as a, as a preservative, even though it smells also like green tea, it also smells like alcohol, but I like it quite much. This is for um, combination and uh, oily skin. And this one is for 40 plus skin, but I wanted to try it anyway. Then I bought two presents, uh, one for my uh, friend and one for my mother. So the one for my mother is this uh, 8th March present. It's 8th of March is a very important um, tradition in Ukraine because it's kind of uh, Mother's Day, kind of. On 8th of March you um, it's International Females uh, Day, so it's uh, connected to kind of feministic movements of early um, 20th century. So I bought this shade for her, for her in Lush. I also bought the vanilla for my friend, but unfortunately I lost it on train. So then I thought maybe she will appreciate the nail varnishes more because 
she likes red nail polish and I bought two of them a last for her one in the shade 14 another one in the shade 11 uh, so I'll insert the total cost of products that I bought uh, uh, here and the number of them uh, this I will count as a substitute so it's not a big deal that I bought it so thank you for watching I hope I was useful <laughs> I hope the next month goes better and goodbye.